I still remember the day I told myself I was going away for college. Actually, more like boarding school, but either way, I was leaving. Sent in my applications, dropped out of high school, and started college. Honestly, all I really needed was an escape. Away from home, away from Harlem, away from violence. Packed up my bags, went to Great Barrington, Massachusetts. <laughs> Leaving all of my friends and family behind, not realizing the privilege in my choice, I left. I mean, from the hood to the mountains, I was gone. I'm so privileged that I got to be the first college graduate in my family. So privileged that I got to go to a private school and leave with minimal loans. So privileged that I got to sit in class and watch the white kids fathom how exotic I look. Like they ain't never see a black person before. Like they ain't never believe I could make it here. Like I was taking up too much space. So privileged that every time we talked about Africa or slavery, the whole class looked at me for my input. The only topic they thought I was smart enough to handle so privileged that my white professor said the N-word in class, everyone looked at me to speak up. As if my internal suffering wasn't enough, as if my silence wasn't enough, as if they wanted me to wear my scars on my wrist because if they couldn't see it, then it didn't happen so privileged. My parents could only afford to give me $100 every two weeks for groceries, so privileged. I hated going home for the holidays because I didn't know how I could afford the transportation, so privileged. I was forced into boxes that just weren't fitting. I had to be my own standard of beauty because there just weren't many. And I had to learn to love myself even on the days when it wasn't pretty, so privileged. I got lost in the ideation of being black that I really felt like I turned my back on my people. Felt like all the culture was getting lost and I was a lost cause and there was no point in coming back if I didn't have something to show for it all. I missed so many of my friends' birthdays. Didn't get to see them on their worst days. But I got to ride up on this high horse because I graduated early and on paper, yeah, it looked great. But inside, I was hurting. First, it was law school, then a PhD. Yeah, I didn't really know my purpose. Just a lost kid searching for a place to call home. And to my parents, I'm really sorry I didn't pick up that phone. And to my friends, I really hate that I left y'all alone. I'm still trying to forgive myself for the things I've outgrown. Because even through the rainy days, I still kicked out the storm. So privileged that every time I came back to the city, they tried to clown me. Oh, you think you a big dog now that the white folks found you? And the thing that was the most unsettling is I was accused of thinking I was better than my people. Like, is anyone really better than my people? So privileged. I never fit in with the white folk. I get a sideline by my folk as if our struggles wasn't the same, as if I wasn't the child of two immigrants. So privileged that everyone thought I was okay. No one really checks in on the one who got it all together. So privileged. They really thought I had it all together. Yeah. Yeah.